Hi, welcome to the Marge Kidding Art Show. Today we're going to paint lilacs with fruit. So I'd like to talk just a little bit about flowers. Of the pictures that you are all sending me, which I enjoy very much, I notice that most of you, when you paint your flowers, particularly on hillsides, I see polka dots. You paint one next to the other, but you don't let them touch. Let's take a little closer look at some of my paintings so that you can understand what I mean. Here's the first one. In this ocean scene, you can see as the, as the flowers are right down towards the front, I let them blend into each other and you still understand that they're flowers. You can see here, there's just a couple that stand apart. On this picture, if you'll notice, I paint the body of the, of the shape of the flower. If you get close to this one, you'll see that there are just simple strokes that I do with a round brush. I do not try to make every single flower or it would take me three months to make this painting. I'm sure I don't have to tell you that these are gladiolas. I had more fun finding this little flower stand that had big bunches of gladiolas and I put them in a vase that I had and I happened to be out at the beach. So I kept the ocean very, very plain because the focus was on the flowers. But if you notice, this was kind of a quick study and I'm using a number 10 round brush and can you see how simple they are? And all of the lines are done with just major strokes like this so that I don't spend time getting all involved with detail. And that's what we're going to do today. I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. For this painting, I will be using two filberts and a number 10 round and a small pointed brush. All right, this is going to be amazing to do this picture in the short amount of time that I've allowed. So I will be using dark green by, by mixing viridian and alizarin crimson or sap green and alizarin crimson to make the darkest tones. I'll be using um, magenta and viridian to get some of my purples. I'll also use a light violet and a diazonine purple. And for the rest, um, I have undertoned this in a yellow ochre because it's the opposite on the color wheel of purple. Now also if you notice I'm very concerned in the pictures that you send me that you tend to put your signature too close to the bottom or, and you also bring your picture and important features very close to the side. It's called a magic inch when you do not paint anything of importance on the edge all the way around because when you crop it during a, a photograph or at any other time it's not going to show and many times the frames will block the painting too. Notice as I paint the sunflower, I do not want it to be in, a, in an absolute circle because any time you have a circle, the eye goes directly to that in a painting. So I will not only make, the, make it an oval or elliptical, but I will also put some leaves in front of it so that your eye doesn't catch on it.
little bit of a tiny break and now I'm going back but I wanted to say that I did add a little bit of the uh, orange and the lemon and the dish just to save a little time. This picture usually I take a day or two and we just don't have that kind of time today. So I hope you'll appreciate that. Notice that this is variegated. I want this to be a variegated uh, area. It, if it's all one color, it would be too boring. With impressionistic painting, one of the things that make it so beautiful is lost and found lines. You don't have to have everything spelled out. I'm sure you know that that's a flower and I probably don't have to touch it again. Beautiful, beautiful. I like that look. I don't want everything all spelled out. Hi. For a short water break, when I came back to this, I took a look at this flower here, and the line is so straight, and that flower is sitting way out there, and it's going to ruin the painting. So right now, I put it on, so I'm going to take it off. That's how you do it. You're the artist. Someone can say, what are you doing? Well, I don't like it. So I can take it, I can take it off. All right, so here we go again. Okay, I'm going to move over to the other side for a minute.
Hi. We fast forwarded a little bit. I made a couple more additions and notice I have quite a few lines now that are very straight. So I just come in with straight lines such as this to add emphasis to various areas. And so now I'm going to wrap it up. Um, there will be a couple more things I do. I so appreciate your putting up with me and watching these shows. And please stay with me and watch all of them. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. Bye.